What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to learn Ghost by Justin Bieber. I really love this song, it's a really cool one, and it's really acoustic guitar based, which is gonna be pretty cool to play. One other part I love about this song is that percussion in the verses. I'm not really sure what instrument is playing it, but they've got some weird combination that I think is just, it's just really nice percussion. So that's a cool part to listen to. Uh, listen to the drums in that part, but we're here for the guitar, so let's get started with that. We're gonna have basically one strumming pattern and one chord progression for most of this song, and then we're gonna change things up a little bit in the pre-chorus. So let's start with the chords for the verse. So we're gonna have four chords here for the verse, and they're gonna be B minor, G, D, and A. So starting here on the B minor, a lot of you are probably gonna be struggling with this right now. Remember that you can cheat on the B minor and just play these four strings and mute this one. Just what you'll probably be doing naturally with this finger, it'll still work, that's kind of the cheat way to do the B minor. But if you can play the full one, then go for it. But it's not gonna to be too bad if you still just play that muted version. Play that, then G, D, and A. And if you do still struggle with these chords, then make sure to check out my course in the description below this video. So once you can play those four chords, then all we're gonna do is single strums on each of them before switching, and listen to my rhythm, and then you're gonna wanna try and follow with that. So that's gonna be the rhythm that you're gonna play for the full verse. And what I was doing with there was just strum, and then rest the side of my palm on the strings, and just play a little muted strum, just to give a little bit of a percussive feel to this, because the percussion, as I said earlier, is really heavy in this part. So you wanna kinda add that in, and it'll just make it a little bit more interesting. So just listen to my rhythm, try and practice that, and play along with me a few times. And again, for that mute, I'm not doing anything fancy, just putting the side of my palm, against the strings so they don't make any sound and we're just trying to get a little bit of percussion in there so then moving into the pre-chorus we're just going to be doing single strums on a few different chords they're just a little bit quick changes but otherwise it's not too complicated so the pre-chorus is going to sound like this and that's the whole thing so the chords here are going to start on an e minor seven to a D slash F sharp, and then to a G. Or that's the first three, so it's just gonna be. And then you're gonna do a G, B minor seven, A. So this B minor seven is probably the one that's gonna trick you up the most. Um, again, with this B minor seven, you can be lazy with this first string and just mute it if it's too tricky. So it doesn't need to ring out. Um, or if you can do that, but it is a little bit trickier here. Or if you really can't play the B minor seven, just use this B minor instead. It'll be similar enough. And then you gotta switch to this A. So. Or with just a B minor. You can hear how it sounds almost the exact same, so use whichever one you can do. So the chords here are a little bit tricky and fast to play. Start with them slowly and work on them and then gradually increase your speed until you can play it a little bit faster. But that's all there is to the pre-chorus. And then you move into the chorus. And this is where our fun strumming comes in. That's what that part sounds like. And we're gonna use the chords from before, the same chords as in the verse. So that's B minor to G, 
and then D to A. So starting here on the B minor, whether you're using the easy version or the full version, totally up to you. But we're going to play down, down, up, down. All right, so let's break down this strumming pattern. So first I'm going to start with the B minor to G. So first I'm going to start by breaking down the strumming pattern from the B minor to the G. You're really just going to want to listen to me play it, try it out yourself, and then listen to me again until you've got the swing of it and you can actually play the same rhythm that I'm playing. Strumming patterns are often far easier to listen to than to try and count or time out. So here I'll play the B minor to G slowly for you. So listen to that, rewind this video as many times as you need to, and try and get the swing of that rhythm. And then you're going to do pretty much the same thing on the D to the A. Or actually it's the exact same thing. So you're going to do the exact same rhythm on D to A as you did from B minor to G. And then you're going to put both of those together. B minor to G is the exact same strumming as D to A. Or even slower. So that right there is the strumming for the chorus. Again, listen to it, try and play it along, and try and figure out how the groove goes. Strumming patterns become a lot easier once you can get the hang of actually listening to them and playing them along. If you are still struggling with your strumming, then you can check out my course in the description below this video. But with that there, that is how you play the chorus, and that is all the parts to the song. So to recap, we've got in the verse, B minor, G, D, A, just with single strums. Then in the pre-chorus, you've got this single strum, a bit of a run here. And then we go into our nice strumming pattern for that chorus. And then you can use those three parts in the three different sections of the song. The bridge, which is really just a minimal quieter chorus, you can use the exact same strumming as in the chorus. And with those parts, you can play this entire song. If you learned something and enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already to get all my latest uploads right when I post them and hit that notification bell. And if you do want an easier way to learn guitar and you're struggling with the song still, then you can check out my course in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.